is going on my beautiful people we are out here today to talk about the most expensive trail camera i could find at my local walmart which is the moultrie w40i and we're going to go over that um, but before we go over that i just want to touch up on a couple things that we've done so far this deer season and you guys may have missed or you've been around and seen it and if you have i really do appreciate that and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing deer cane mineral site's looking pretty good with the trophy rock as well as the uh, deer cane block so hopefully there's some good videos on that Primo's Gen 3 Blackout. Let's head over to the food plot. Food plot has definitely had a bunch of leaves fall on it, but the food plot looks pretty nice. Wild Games Innovation Trail Camera right there that we are actually replacing today. And we got our Timberline Hang On Deer Stand right up there. So we've been doing a lot of big things on this channel. If you haven't been able to tell, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it and see what kind of deer we come up with this upcoming deer season. With that being said, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, you need to. Because trust me, guys, there's some big things happening in my life. And you guys are going to want to be along for that ride. But anyways, we're going to go ahead. We're going to talk about the most expensive trail camera that I just picked up from Walmart. And uh, we're going to get it set up to replace my cheap Wild Games Innovation camera. And if you guys want, I can do a video just kind of showing the specs on that camera. Um, that was one of the first trail cameras I got before I had a YouTube channel. And it's worked great for me. But it's just time for a little bit of an upgrade. I went to a local Walmart. I've been looking around trying to see what kind of trail camera to upgrade my Wild Games Innovation from. And I ended up picking up this Moultrie W40i, which was the most expensive trail camera that we actually had at my local Walmart. And I thought that would make a good title. So that's kind of what led me to get this. Um, to go over some of the specs real quick, trigger speed of 0.3 seconds, detection range 80 feet, and battery life is 19,000 images. So it should have a pretty good battery life. It runs off of eight AA batteries, like a lot of trail cameras do. I know my Wild Game Innovation, it runs off of eight and it lasts about two weeks. That's the lifespan of that camera with eight batteries in it, which is not good. And that's my big concerns with it. The Primo's Blackout truck camera I have that I film all of my mineral or attractive videos or anything like that with, that battery life is five, six months easy. Um, it lasts a very long time compared to that truck camera. I have to check that truck camera a lot. Um, so that's why I'm kind of pulling it down from here because in this area it's about a week and a half before bow season. So it is a spot that I'm going to be coming in a lot to hunt this field and hunt that mineral site. Um, but I just don't want to leave that trail camera here. I want to be able to leave it out, not worry about it, and have it have the chance to take a lot more pictures. Also, when it's starting to be the rut, I want to have a decent trail camera I can move around, which is going to be this one and put on different scrapes that have video capability because that one does not have video capability. We're going to go ahead and we're going to unbox this. Um, I will kind of tell you guys about the photo resolution. It does have 1920 by 1080 photos on the low end, and then it has 5,664 by 3,186 on the high end. So it's taking some really high quality, high resolution photos. Also does have 1920 by 1080 full HD, and then it has HD of 1280 by 720. So it has both 720 and 1080 HD, which is really nice. And then it's got some photo burst modes and it's got a 32 gigabyte max was the SD card. I typically run eight to 16 gigabyte cards in my cameras, um, depending on how long I'm gonna check or how long it will be until I get back in the area to check them. With this one, I'm gonna throw an eight gigabyte in there because I know I'll probably be checking it um, every couple of weeks, but I just don't wanna have to change the batteries in it that often. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start unboxing this and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see what we got in here. So we got pretty good packaging. I like that it's not too hard to get into um, and they're making it pretty simple to open it. That's one thing I hate when it's really hard to get into things. Um, it comes with a decent little strap here. It's plastic clamp, so that could potentially break over time. I know the one on the Primo's was a metal clamp, which I really liked, um, but you did pay a little bit more for that camera than this one. This one retailed right at 125. We got some instructions, don't think we'll really need those. And then we got a little back plate and we have the camera itself. So this is what that camera looks like. I'll get it a little closer. Got our camera. We got the uh, Invisi flashlights there. And that's what your mounting system looks like on the back for that strap. And it's got a place for different locks if you want to use those. Opening it up, as you can see, it's got some pretty simple instructions here. We got menu, up and down, okay. It's got aim, custom start, quick start. And then it's got the eject button for the battery pack, which fits in there pretty snug. Then also it has a place where you can run a different 12 volt DC battery if you want. It's got a location for that, which is nice. And it's got a place for a USB out. So if you didn't want to have to always run that uh, SD card, you could do that. And the SD card runs in right there. 
overall not a bad little setup we're gonna get some batteries in it turn her on and see how it works so I'm gonna turn it on for the first time I'm gonna go to custom start which is gonna be two clicks up so we've got motion detect option start 99% battery no memory card motion detect I guess that's the only thing we can do there menu option start detection delays 10 seconds so we can put it on none 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 minute, 30 seconds, 10 seconds. So we'll leave it on 10 seconds for now. Sensitivity high, we'll put it on, so it's got high or low, we'll leave it on high. Multi-shot, I'm going to leave it on off. Uh, do we want to take photos or video? We will go with photos for now. Reset option, do not reset. Motion detect, option start. So once we put it on the tree, we can do the motion detect. So right now I got it set for 10 second delay, high sensitivity, multi shot one, and then we got it on photo. So that's pretty much all you need for a custom start. So this is where we would set the date or time. Let's do that here. We're going to go ahead, we'll take the Wild Games Innovation camera off and we're going to mount this one up there in its place. And uh, we'll go ahead and see what kind of range we're going to be picking up here. And hopefully we'll be able to get this set up. So right about... All right, there we go. That was pretty quick for you. I love doing a little magic like that. As you can see, we got it set up. Let's get it a little bit more level here. Oh, man. There we go. That's pretty level. Looking right at the center of the food plot towards my deer stand, which is right there. We're going to go ahead, and we're just going to walk around a little bit in this food plot here. And what do you guys, I'm just curious, what do you think I should do with this stump right here? I'm thinking about some attractant, right about 10 yards shooting lane right here. Clear out some of those leaves, put something good there. So leave a comment below as to what I should put in that little stump area. But as I'm walking around, I can see that that light's flashing, so all this is in range. We're good to go, we're good to go. All of this is good to go. So that detection feature is actually really nice because you can make sure if you're trying to get an exact trail or an exact spot on trail camera, you can make sure that you get that. Um, one other thing I wanted to test because the deer oftentimes will be kind of in this area when they come in is I want to make sure that right in here is still good and covered. Yep, all right. That's why I love that detection feature. Um, I've actually never had a trail camera really that has that. I know the Primos does, um, and so that's why I like to have it on these. But it's just really good to make sure that you're covering everything. So I've already kind of gone over the setup. We're just going to go to custom start, and I would assume that it's good to go to start taking pictures. All right, so I guess that's all you really need to do to turn it on, and then just give it a couple seconds and see if it takes any pictures. I don't really know. I'd like to know if that's all you had to do to check that up and I'll read the box just to make sure. Um, sometimes it can be a little weird because I know that's how you set it up but I don't know if that is then. Now it's going to start taking pictures. All right my beautiful people. I want to start off by saying thank you guys for all the support before we get started into looking at these pictures. I got the trail camera card here for the Moultrie camera and um, I'm going to show you guys the quality of photos that it takes and I absolutely love this camera. It's been about three weeks since I've had it and I've, I've taken a look at these pictures already and they are crisp. I'm going to just let you guys know that. There's some exciting things coming. I'm in the studio that I've been using for about a month now and uh, basically it's a back closet that we kind of converted into a little area where I can film but we got some really exciting news that you guys are going to have to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications and uh, wait for some upcoming videos because I got some really exciting news some really big stuff is happening in my life and I want to bring you all along for the ride so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because Lord knows I'm going to need all the support I can get with what's coming up there is a little bit of a hint this might be one of the last times you guys see me in this studio we are going to get to some of these pictures and uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the quality of the photos that it has so right off the bat let's take a look we have some nighttime photos the same night I got it set up you can see that it's showing the moon phase, it's showing the temperature, it's showing Moultrie Cam, which I can relabel to be anything I want, and it's showing the date as well as the time. So this was September 1st at about 8.05 p.m. And they're actually right in front of my stand. That, that tree, there's a pine tree that you can see that's pretty predominant. Um, it might actually be an oak tree if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's an oak tree. There's a really big oak tree that you can see. And then to the left, there is a pine tree with uh, these black straps going across it that's where my stand is uh, that deer is a good bit of distance from the trail camera and it still picked up and took a really decent quality photo we're going to scroll down to some daytime pictures and i'll show you guys those there's a mom and a doe and i mean you can see that there's really high definition photos i mean in this doe 
she's really skinny and it's been really hot so they don't have so much fur that's why it's looking like they're really skinny um, but you can see like the shadows on her ribs you can see that it's doing really well with the color contrast even though like some of the whites on that oak tree are, are really bright and lit up because of the sun and then with the shadows it's doing a really good job the greens coming through pretty nice and then you can obviously see that pine tree with my deer stand on it and these deer are probably 15 20 yards from that deer stand I did not change this trail camera over to video I haven't done that yet that'll be an upcoming video I bought this trail camera specifically to take pictures yes it does have video capabilities um, and I actually found a scrape not too long ago right now it's September 24th and I found that scrape about a week ago and uh, I'm just waiting for some more deer to get a little more active for it before I go ahead and throw that trail camera on there and see what's coming to that scrape but I'm pretty excited for that. Actually, right here we have a picture of a deer where it looks like she was eating in the food plot and then got spooked and ran. And you can see that even with a running deer, it's still a pretty decent movement. Like you can see the dots on the fawn, you can see the butt really good, and you could be able to tell if it was a buck what kind of antlers it had. So I'm pretty impressed with the capabilities of this camera of, of snapping a pretty quick picture even with a deer running through. Dang, guys, really right in front of my stand, we have the big 11-pointer that's behind our property. He came in at 7.19 p.m. on the 10th, and as you can see, my stand is right there. And I can tell you, because I've hunted in that stand since then, that uh, that deer is 15 yards max from my stand right there. So if he comes in like that while I'm sitting there, that is a dead deer. And he sat, and he ate, and... I'm going to just keep showing really good pictures of this deer. But, I mean, this guy, he's got some good mass. He's not that wide. Honestly, he looks a little bit younger than I originally thought. And if I was to let this deer walk, he would become a monster. But I know that, dang, man, that picture right there. I'll have to have this one up on screen. But I know that if I let him walk, somebody else is going to kill him. I've never killed a deer with my bow and... I think he'd be a pretty good one to start with. Let me know if you would shoot him. Never having killed a deer with your bow, would you kill that deer for the first deer ever with a bow? And that was the only actual buck that we had on there. Actually, no, I take that back. That was a spike right there, but I'm not going to bring him up. He's not worthy of following. And then opening day of deer season at 9.55, we had a coyote. So I'm pretty glad we were actually in Sandersville for opening weekend. Pretty good weekend, actually. Saw a bunch of deer. I'm going to leave that video up here if it's already up. If not, turn on the bell notifications and it'll be up shortly. The pictures from the Moultrie trail camera that I picked up, it was the most expensive trail camera at Walmart and I think it's definitely worth a purchase if you're in the market for a new trail camera. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for your support. We are approaching 300 subscribers very quickly and it's it's just amazing that you guys are loving the channel and supporting it so if you're new and you haven't subscribed consider becoming a beautiful person hit that that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications i'm gonna be pumping out a lot more content guys and uh hopefully i'll be able to teach you guys something and you guys have definitely taught me a lot about hunting and fishing so i really appreciate the community we have and i will hope that this is something that'll grow and more people will be able to learn like i am and like some of you guys are as well but I appreciate all of, of your time watching the videos, and uh, let me know what kind of truck cameras you're running. Anyways, when nature calls, got to an answer. Peace and God bless.